The Home team is shifting its focus to help ex-convicts remain crime-free for a longer period. Currently, four in ten ex-offenders return to prison within five years of their release. Second Minister for Home Affairs, Josephine Teo, describes what's called the recidivism rate concerning. She was speaking at an event that looks at strengthening support for inmates throughout their reintegration journey. Tan Su Hui tells us more. Christopher was only 16 when he first started taking drugs like heroin. Three years later, he was arrested and went on to reoffend five more times. I sell drugs, I take drugs. And um, because I was involved in a gang, I was also involved with um, violent crimes. But he turned over a new leaf after being released from prison in 2012 and even secured a spot at the Singapore Management University. Yet, Christopher turned to his old ways around five years later. However, after my graduation from SMU, the challenges I faced then was that I didn't know what to expect in the working world. I sent my resumes out, but then I could not explain the gap in my resume. I had totally no work experience and that was the time when I fell again. Christopher isn't the only one. Just over 40% of ex-offenders return to prison within five years of their release. That's why the authorities are shifting their focus to lower the five-year recidivism rate. The purpose of this shift in focus is to emphasize the need to look beyond the immediate post-release rehabilitation of former inmates to secure the longer-term reintegration journey. This requires significant rethinking on our approaches and our new capabilities that will be needed. Progress has been made in the two-year recidivism rate, which stands at 20 percent, the lowest in 30 years. But some challenges remain. Ex-offenders may not have a supportive environment beyond five years. It's how we can sustain it. Are there anything new? Well, first of all, we believe that the most important thing is a dignified livelihood. On that area, we are, we are now trying to give our ex-offenders more skills. Organisations say they need at least a hundred more volunteers to guide ex-offenders in areas like career advice. Such support may also be extended to more than 12 months. There will be more training opportunities for volunteers through webinars to ensure they're equipped with the right skills on aftercare. A resource repository will also be launched later this year. As for Christopher, he's finally drug-free at 47 years old. After being released from the rehab centre last year, he's now working at a social service agency to help others just like him rebuild their lives.